More development for Guyana, as persons living with disabilities are now eligible for import tax and value-added tax exemptions on the purchase of smartphones and certain vehicles. Minister of Public Telecommunications Catherine Hughes announced on Friday that the Guyana Revenue Authority, GRA, has recently completed the tax exemption policy. The application process and procedures are now being finalized by the Ministry of Public Telecommunications and the National Commission on Disabilities. This is another means of empowering the people with the increased use of technology. It opens many doors for them, and we hope it will strengthen their confidence to seek or create employment and to use information technology for their own development and our national growth. According to Minister Hughes, the ministry had made the proposal to Minister of Finance Winston Jordan in 2018, who immediately took it on board. Minister Jordan made the announcement during his November 2018 budget presentation. Ghana's community of persons living with a disability at the last census was 49,000 persons. That number is much larger today, as it includes senior citizens who have developed age-related hearing and physical impairments. The members of this community have lived on the margins of our societies for most of their lives because previous governments did not make adequate, sometimes no, provisions to accommodate their needs. This government is putting that to an end. For the first time, persons living with disabilities will be able to purchase their own vehicles free of excise duty and VAT. They will also be granted tax rebates and handsets with accessibility features allowing visually and hearing impaired persons to afford smartphones. During his budget presentation last November, Minister Jordan said that the two initiatives solidify the government's commitment to equity and inclusion for all citizens through the use of Information and Communications Technology, ICT. For InfoHub, Shaquille Bourne.